Senator, there's a proposal now. I think uh, more senators have joined the proposal of Senator Ontiveros to declare POGOS as a threat to national security. Can you expound more on this proposal? You're asking the president already to declare POGOS a threat to national security. Yes, because the president is the chairman of the National Security Council. And yes. uh, just to give context to that, yesterday we had um, an executive session on um, the uh, Banban Pogo Hub uh, that yes. was created a few months ago. And um, not to divulge any of the details, but just broad strokes. Um, the security agencies, as well as the intelligence agencies, uh, reported that Pogos have already managed to increase their influence to different personalities and groups, particularly political personalities, uh, mm. enforcement groups and enforcement agencies, as well as local criminal syndicates. Uh, if we remember, um, POGOS are run by foreign criminal syndicates, and uh, based on their intelligence, they are now aligning themselves with also with local criminal syndicates. Uh, we still have local criminal syndicates, such as drug syndicates, kidnap for ransom, yeah. and they're now aligning themselves together. And uh, because of that, uh, because of the, 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 the big money flows that is coming from uh, outside of the Philippines, they are using that, that large sum of money to, to, to increase their influence to different groups. And uh, that can also cascade to political influence as well as geopolitical influence. So that's why in, in, just in, 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 in summary, um, we recommended to the National Security Council representative to already bring this up during the council meeting and declare POGOS as a national security threat because uh, once they get a, a foothold uh, to all our decision makers, then it's very difficult now to, to fight POGOS or to, 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 un, to, to uh, untangle all of the uh, criminal activities of POGOS because they have deeper influence uh, in our government system. Uh, uh, Senator, any, will any that indication on whether the president is amenable to this proposal? Well, the discussion was only yesterday, but uh, we, mm. we, we uh, sounded, uh, we, we made it very clear, you know, the senators made it very clear to the NSC to, to take this up and discuss this extensively. Uh, this information did come from us, senators. This information came from the executive side, particularly the intelligence um, uh, yeah. instrumentalities of government, so they can they can they can call them, they can ask for a briefing, and these guys will tell them exactly what they've seen and exactly what Pogos can do uh, to our country in terms of influence and damage. Senator, we're going to have uh, a midterm election in uh, in a few months. Uh, the filing will happen in four months. Uh, ito bang proposal nyo ay pwedeng mangyari before the midterm election to declare POGO as a national security threat and to provide uh, uh, laws uh, to make it implementable? Dahil kung batay sa mga sinasabi nyo, kung hindi ito mangyayari before the midterms, eh yung midterms can be shaped by POGO politics. Dahil with the huge uh, billions of earnings ng mga Pogos, it can shape yung contours ng next election. So, mahalaga na ito ay ma-implement before the election. You're, you're yeah. absolutely correct, um, Ronald. In fact, uh, yesterday, uh, in our discussion, and I've raised this many times, no? uh, the, the Pogo hub in Banban is no small development. Uh, we asked professional engineers to survey the place and to run a costing of the place. And and uh, 6.1 billion pesos uh, was plowed in to build that Pogo hub in Banban. That's a 10 hectare property. There's a shopping mall. There's there's condominiums, and there are 37 buildings in that Pogo hub. 6.1 billion was uh, plowed in. And the concerning part is, government did not detect anything uh, in terms of money flows. We asked. Uh, the Anti-Money Laundering Council, their representative yesterday, if they have detected anything, uh, any money laundering activities, because 
uh, when we were doing our own investigation, we couldn't find any trace on how the 6.1 billion landed on our shores. We couldn't also find any trace who built the facilities. And uh, we were very disappointed with the answers of the Anti-Money Laundering Council because, first of all, they, they, they couldn't uh, trace where the money, how the money came in. And they couldn't also trace who the money, uh, with, uh, who received the money and dispensed the money during the construction stage. And it's quite disappointing because this the job of Anti-Money Laundering Council is to detect all of these things. But my point of the matter there is big sums of money uh, is coming into our country undetected, and that can be used for whatever purpose, um, to, to build more Pogo hubs, but, but definitely it will also go to political personalities and other personalities uh, in order to gain protection uh, for their illegal activities. Okay, Senator, what comes after uh, uh, a declaration of POGOs as a national security threat? Uh, does this uh, uh, dovetail to uh, deportations, closures, and what else? I think the, the, the simple process will be, once it's declared as a national security threat, uh, the president has the power to cancel all the existing licenses and, of course, prevent future licenses from being issued. And then they will probably have a, a wind-down period, for example, mm -hmm. uh, deportation, not deportation, but canceling of uh, work permits. Those who are working in POGOs with work permits, they will definitely be asked to leave the country. Of course, the illegal ones will be deported. And then um, uh, the licenses, which, which is the document that legitimizes POGOs will all be canceled, and they will no longer have any legal basis to operate in our country. Uh, Senator, how about Senator, government uh, officials uh, involved dito? PAGCOR, AMLA, uh, Philippine National Police, uh, uh, iba pang agencies na in a way uh, supported the creation of these POGO hubs. Di ba dapat uh, more than foreigners ay dapat maparusahan din sila? Yeah, definitely. PACOR should also be held to account uh, because they're the regulator under the law. In fact, uh, in the law that uh, created the tax regime for POGO, it was very clear that PACOR should regulate them. But unfortunately, it's not happening. And one of the legislative proposals that came out from this uh, uh, hearing or from this investigation is to already separate the regulatory function and the operating mm -hmm. function of the PAC board. Right now, it's operating as one. And because of conflict of interest, they're not regulating strictly all of these uh, POGOs coming into our country. Because on one hand, they're earning money. But on the other hand, they're not regulating. Because once you start regulating, definitely the operations of these POGOs will be curtailed and revenue will go down. So. Mm -hmm. One of the proposals that uh, we will make in the committee is to already separate the regulatory function from the uh, operating function of PAGPOR. But Senator, for this particular case, Ronald, they, they should be held to account because um, uh, in the hearing it came out that they have people in Banban 24-7, and yet uh, almost 800 personnel there didn't have the proper PAGCOR licenses to operate uh, in POGO facilities. Kanya nga, Senator, madali namang ma-identify. Sino yung mga BI na nagbigay ng permiso sa pagpasok nitong mga uh, Chinese uh, nationals na to? Sino sa PAGCOR yung nagbigay ng permit? Sino sa Philippine National Police yung uh, nagagwardya dito sa mga POGO hubs na ito? Nasigurado ko meron. So, pwede namang ma-identify na yan immediately. Tama. Hindi, hindi ka na kailangan ng mahabang panahon. Pero parang wala pang lumalabas na mga pangalan. Yeah, tama ka doon. That will be our focus in the next hearing. Uh, accountability from PAGPOR and itong mga personalities. Uh, we, during the first hearing, hiningin namin yun. No? And to uh, give us uh, uh, all the names that were involved. Because... Pagor is the regulator. Eh. Dapat yes. alam mo lahat ang nangyayari. Especially if you have people there 24-7, dapat alam mo lahat because they have the power to inspect, they have the power to look at the computers, they have the, the, the their, their responsibility is to make sure they have proper licenses. But that, that didn't happen with this POGO hub in Banban. And the other POGO hubs that were raided, 
we found the same uh, leniency or or totally uh, no regulation whatsoever in this uh, with all of these Pogo uh, companies and uh, because of that ito mga Pogo companies were left to do their own and this and, and a lot of them just use the license as a front and behind it are all these scamming activities that they are uh, perpetuating. Ami? Ano to, are you pushing for a ban on Pogos or on offshore gaming? Because I understand Pago is developing its own offshore gaming scheme, hindi ba? Ami, but in my analysis, you cannot separate both. Eh? Because the offshore gaming, uh -huh. uh, the IBM, they call it, no, the internet yes. gaming, yes. Yeah. are the same, same operators as yes. Pogos. It's one of the same. No? They just change name, but the operators are still the same. And the people who are applying uh, the, the IGL licenses are also yes. the same. So it's very difficult to operate it by uh, to, sep to, to separate it by mere changing of the names. So, um, it's really a regulatory problem. It's and in my opinion, it's a regulatory failure, and maybe mm. to a large extent a regulatory capture um, because of that conflict of interest. So you will be pushing also for the shutdown of those ITLs. Yes. Uh, my, yeah, my call is to completely ban yeah. Pogos in our country because uh, the nature of Pogo by itself um, is, 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 is illegal in a sense that a lot of the, or most of the operators mm -hmm. and investors in that Pogos come from criminal syndicates. And we have documents yeah. to prove that, that the, the intelligence agencies have documents to prove that. That even though you call them legitimate, but the stakeholders or the the incorporators all come from shady backgrounds. <laughs> okay, Senator mm -hmm. Wynka Chalian, thank you for joining the StoryCon. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, Senator. Senator.